All right, welcome back. How you doing? Hello to the VC, the vinyl community. Uh, got some recent finds and some recent spins for you uh, on this edition. And uh, before I begin, uh, last night I was at the uh, Revival House uh, Vinyl Society uh, get-together. Uh, Revival House in Stratford is an old church that has been uh, transformed into an incredible restaurant and events uh, facility. And uh, once a month they hold a vinyl get-together where people bring records and whatnot and they spin them and just uh, enjoy the evening, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it was, it's they do it once a month. Uh, usually the last Thursday of the month, uh, but they have the uh, facility already booked for Lorena McKenna concerts at the end of the month, so they held it uh, a week earlier. But it's always a good uh, get-together. The uh, DJ, uh, Mr. D, always does a great job, and uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I think the wildest one I heard last night was Rob, who brought a G.I. Joe record. Uh, he it was from the 80s and uh, had like a G.I. Joe theme. <laughs> It was it was quite 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 mind blowing the uh, GI Joe record. Well, I got some records for you this time. Uh, let's get right to it. Uh, first off, uh, these are both recent finds and uh, recent spins uh, for me. Uh, first off, uh, was thrilled to find this Harmonium, classic prog rock from Quebec, amazing band and their album Leptad. This is a two LP set. This is just wonderful classic rock, orchestral, jazzy, uh, all in French, but considered certainly an absolute classic. It's uh, m certainly made uh, in terms of uh, top Canadian albums of all time. It makes the list. And uh, the Polaris Prize, which is a, uh, a prize that's given out to, to new music, to new Canadian artists each year. They select one album a year and then give that uh, group or individual a prize. But then they've also done a Polaris sort of retro kind of thing, where what's the best album in the 70s or the 60s, that sort of thing. And this was one of the ones selected as a sort of a retro um, classic selection of the Polaris Prize. So Harmonium Leptad. And as I mentioned, it's great classic rock. It's wonderfully orchestral. And uh, this was on the uh, CBS label. And uh, there's the uh, inner sleeve with all the lyrics. And then... But it's absolutely highly recommended. Harmonium Leptad. Definitely seek it out. And this came out in 1976. And this, I believe, was one of their final albums. And then they've re-released this as sort of a 40th uh, anniversary. Which is also available, so you can check that out. Uh, Harmonium. It's just a wonderful, wonderful album. They've got a few really terrific albums. Okay, next on the list, I was very happy to see this. This is a Canadian pressing of the band The Straubs. Again, more great classic prog rock. Uh, this is a Canadian pressing. This is a two-album set. And, of course, Rick Wakeman from Yes was a early member, one-time member of this group. But this is actually a Canadian compilation, which I found out. And it's quite good. It's a great selection of a lot of their early work, and uh, really enjoyed it. Classic Straubs. And this one is, uh, I was talking about uh, Chicago's uh, box set a while back. Uh, you know, if you like the sounds of horns, you're going to love, of course, Lighthouse. This is really an, a great underrated Canadian album, Lighthouse Live. This is the band Live at Carnegie Hall, and they are playing their socks off uh, on this one. And this is on the uh, GRT label, a small sort of thing. Fairly independent label in Canada, certainly at the time. Uh, the cover's in a little bit of rough shape, but the uh, the double album, it's in good shape. And they do like a 13-minute version of 8 Miles High. Uh, Skip Prokop, of course he was the one of the central band members for this group. But uh, really, if you like horns, if you like Blood, Sweat and Tears, Chicago, not going to want to miss this album, Lighthouse Live. It's great. <clears throat> okay, something a little different. A little Frank Zappa I've been spinning. This is Overnight Sensation on the Discreet label. Uh, interesting that uh, Tina Turner and the Ikeettes uh, sing background vocals on a number of the tracks, including uh, Montana, but they are uncredited on the album. But this is great. You know, Frank Zappa, surrounded by great musicians, amazing guitar solos. Montana, the guitar solo in that song alone. And, of course, a lot of the Frank Zappa humor, the dry humor, and not-so-dry humor uh, throughout. 
book, but uh, yeah, it's just a one of his great albums. I really do like this kind of period of Frank Zappa with uh, like Overnight Sensation, One Size Fits All, and Apostrophe. And there you have it. But yeah, certainly surrounding himself with some great musicians, including George Duke, uh, Ian Underwood, Ruth Underwood, and uh, yeah, and Tina Turner and the Ikeettes, uh, who are though uncredited on the album, but they sing background vocals on a number of songs. All right. Now, when you're talking Joe Cocker, like how classic is this album? Joe Cocker with a little help from my friends. Unbelievable record. This one's got a little bit of water damage, as you can see on the bottom. But, uh, man, when you have Jimmy Page and Steve Winwood playing on your album, you know it's going to be a good one. This, of course, has the uh, title track, his amazing cover, of with, a, with a little help from my friends. Also, I Shall Be Released, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood, Bob Dylan's Just Like a Woman, and uh, Feeling All Right, the uh, traffic tune, and uh, Bye Bye Blackbird. It's just a great album, and just great musicians overall. And this is a Canadian pressing... Uh, manufactured on the A&M Records, manufactured and distributed in Canada by Quality Records. There you have it. Now, speaking of Steve Winwood and traffic, I've been getting into a little bit of a, a, a traffic phase, if you will, a Steve Winwood phase, and I picked this up, uh, Traffic's On The Road. This is their, their live album from 1973. This is, really gets into kind of heavy jazzy kind of stuff, but man, it's great. And uh, this was recorded live on tour in Germany. Now, this is just the single album uh, release. Take it out of the sleeve here for you. Uh, initially, it was a double album, at least in, in Britain, and I think Canadian Pressings as well, because a friend of mine, Bill, has a Canadian Pressing, but it's a double album. But this is just the single album. It still holds up well. And wonderfully jazzy. But Steve Winwood, just an amazing musician. Traffic on the road. Great album. Been enjoying this album uh, recently. I always think that this is such an underrated album. This is Jackson Brown's Running on Empty. And uh, this was on the Asylum uh, label. Uh, this came out in 1977. Uh, predominantly a live album. There's some stuff recorded uh, in hotel rooms and whatnot. And it really just deals with life on the road, all the ups and downs. But it is just a wonderful record. Certainly with Running on Empty alone. Also, the uh, the track, of course, the Load Out and Stay that wraps up the album. And the song The Road. It's just a beautiful album. And it's interesting, uh, certainly for the first track, that running on empty, I forgot uh, when you put it on how it stays almost quiet for what seems like an eternity at the beginning of the album, and then it kicks in. Cause, so if you're turning it up thinking, you know, I'm sort of vaguely hearing the crowd sounds, but I'm not really hearing anything, and then boom, it comes in. But uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then I picked this up. I just didn't know it had a nice little inner sleeve right inside. But certainly David Lindley, who's uh, heavily featured, a great musician on here on, on violin. Uh, yeah, just just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I can quickly show you the inner sleeve here. All the lyrics. And as I mentioned, on the classic... Asylum label. There we go. Okay, that's Jackson Brown, the Running on Empty, featuring, of course, the load out, the loadout stay, which was a big radio hit. And uh, yeah, I've got one more for you. Uh, I can thank my friend John for turning me on to this one. This is a Jesse Colin Young, Light Shine. Uh, this can be sort of a, a difficult album to find. I don't think the album has been reissued. It has been put out on CD, and John uh, picked me up a copy of CD. Uh, Jesse Colin Young was originally with the Young Bloods, struck out on his own in the '70s, kind of. Um, soft rock, if you will. He's got really just a very nice voice, but he also gets kind of jazzy, kind of country rock, just kind of all styles of music, uh, if you will, all genres. And uh, it's side one is one track, essentially, called California Sweet. That includes uh, California Child, Gray Day and Light Shine. And then uh, we got Pretty and the Fair on side two, Barbados. Uh, so, you know, he's doing some, you know, 
quite a variety of styles on the album, but it's a, it's a really nice album. And found this at a Goodwill or a thrift store for two bucks. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe my luck, so I picked this up. Okay, so those are some recent spins, some recent finds. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like uh, what you've seen here, hit like and subscribe. And thank you to all the new subscribers, and we'll chat again real soon. Bye-bye.